So um, today I'm gonna talk about a very simple question that people ask me all the time. Should I apply cold or should I apply heat? Right? I'm gonna bring it straight to the point. If you have an injury, you never apply heat. Right? If you apply heat, you may feel bad at the time because heat is very cozy, but you're actually making the inflammation worse. So the classic example is you damage your back Friday, you apply the heat throughout the night, wake up Saturday, kind of leave the bed. This is the hap this, I hear this all the time. So I think this way, when you sprain your ankle, you see that big swelling, you don't feel about applying heat there, right? So the ankle is, is the same, um, uh, same tissues that you have on your knees, on your back. The principle is the same. You're never going to apply heat when you have an injury. So always, always apply cold. Cold, maximum 20 minutes. If you want to do back to back, you do 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off. You always double the off time, okay? Now, after a certain time, after a few weeks, sometimes a few months, if you still have an injury, you may apply heat. But it's still, the problem of heat is, you may have a chronic problem, let's say you have a problem for two years, it's very chronic, but during that, that week, it may get acute. So during that week, you may get a bit of inflammation. So if you apply heat at that time, you're gonna make the inflammation worse, you're gonna make your symptoms worse. So I, as a practitioner, I don't like working with heat. I always like to work with cold. Cold is very safe. It's pain control, reduce inflammation. It's one of the best things you can do to reduce the pain. In rare occasions, I will use heat but as a contrast. I'm gonna start with heat five minutes and I'll put 10, 10 minutes cold. Heat five minutes, 10 minutes cold. But this is ideally in a clinical scenario with a practitioner that knows what they're doing. So always stick with ice, that's the message.